Oh. Okay. Uh, first video from my first uh, for my new workshop. Okay. So today I am going to share with you the new oceanus evergreen evergreen oceanus. All right. This is the oceanus. HD white or white HD. This, now they come with left hand. They hear a lot of left handers already. Finally, they come out with the left hand. Alright. And then, of course, I got the older, first generation Oceanus here with me as well. Okay. A lot of people still a bit of hesitating. It's a nice reel. Alright. I did write a review about this reel before that. Uh, it's really very well built. Stainless steel gear. Small. Only downside is a little bit heavy, but you know, because it's heavy, so it feels a bit robust. I don't trust in light reels anyway. So this reel has got a full stainless steel gear. Comes with a spool lock, then a twin anti-reverse dogging, backup dogging. So anytime your anti-reverse fail, there has two backup dogging itself. So it almost like compact. It's a very compact lever drag reel itself. You have almost everything, almost really everything. You have cock drag as well. So why I prefer a cock drag for myself because I did. I mean, some of you guys you know that I love slow jigging. So cock drag has the best and lowest initial. When you know the drag is so smooth, but provided you must have the correct cock grease, cock grease. Okay. So people hesitated of why uh, the new HD. Okay, they ask, is there any difference between the old and the new? Okay, yes, there's some slight difference. Where? Aesthetically differences is the handle. Okay, this is the HD handle. This is the old handle. Look at the knob itself. Okay, extended knob and then of course extended arm. And of course thicker. Can you see a difference? It's thicker, longer, the knob is longer as well. And then for the reel, the lever itself, the old one has got this plastic because they want you to have a more convenient, more efficient of releasing and engaging drag this way, you see? So they add on a plastic, but it's like blocking a lot more tolerance. The lever can't go down all the way, okay? But for this new one, there's no more plastic. Okay, you see, the lever can go until very low. Very smooth adjustment. Then, then for the external, what more else, what else is different? The old one doesn't have this uh, screw cap retaining. Okay. To protect the bearing from dropping out as well as, you know, to reduce the water ingression. For this new one, you see, there's this cap to lock on the bearing itself. All right. And of course, the down knob is different. The, the new one looks nicer. Look at that. Okay, other than that, you have the build that this uh, wire, the line guide wire. The old one is like rounded. The new one has a little bit pointed here. Why is it? Why is this wire for? This wire is when people has got no experience using lever drag reel that has got no line guide. Okay. Then the line will always pack to one side and then it went in to the gap between the spool itself. Then that the line gets stuck. So the line gap is when the line reaches the fullest, they will automatically okay, align your align your line to the center itself so that you don't go sideways and then get caught in between the spool. Alright? This little reel itself, okay, has got this spool lock as well. Like the OJ, Shimano OJ or the Saltiga. Okay, you, if you get your line, your jig stuck, spool lock, and then just burst the line. That's it. Okay, and the additional feature for this new uh, Oceanus White is that you've got one built in line clip. This is line holder. Saw that? Okay, it's spring activated. So you just clip your line in between here. Okay, the last one, they has got this safety line catch here. The old one don't have. Okay, for me, I find it a bit bothering because, you know, it's, 
get caught here. I find it a bit boring, but this is personal preference. You can actually remove it. So right now, I'm going to take this chance and I'm going to remove inside and show you the gear, okay? Uh, this one is really open. Okay, I'm going to show you the other one. Give me a while. Even the screws, the main screws are all stainless steel, so don't worry of getting it deformed so easily or get get it corroded so easily, okay? Okay, guys, look at the spool. Look at the gear itself. Sorry, put it here. Look at the gear. Both stainless steel. This is the new HD, and this is the old Oceanus. Both are the same. Stainless steel gear, and... Where's my tweezer? Look at this. Here, can you see? There's this dogging here. And then the dogging plate. So in any time that your anti-reverse fail, your real go reverse, right? This dogging will kick in and stop the handle from going backwards or the reel from going backwards. So this is an additional safety feature. There's twin, one here and one here. Many, this is, I would say that a very advanced design reel for a Japanese brand. And uh, honestly, other than the size, other than the size and the drag power, I got no complaint. It's a very, very universal. I would say that it's a hand, smallest, most, the smallest and the most powerful lever drag reel that the Japanese ever made. Okay? Of course, you don't compare to an accurate variant 400. That's a twin drag. This is a single drag. And this is cock. So you can't compare. The only can compare probably the weight and the size. And of course, the smoothness. So, yeah, I mean, overall for the rating, I would go for, uh, of course, the Oceanus White HD. Slightly a little bit wider, but don't really look much of this. Okay, take a look here. See? Not really of much difference. Probably maybe about 2 or 3 mm from, from here. Look at the edge here. See? Just maybe about 2 or 3 mm differences. Okay? So for this case, I will, oh, I will definitely prefer uh, a HD anytime over a uh, whole Oceanus. Because now it comes in left hand as well. Okay. Uh, okay, the last one of course. I went to Japan. Master Sato did taught me how to modify this reel. And um, fine tune it. In fact, make the reel much more nicer to fish reef and nicer to crank. Okay. So... Uh, Anyway, do look up for Leo Heaven Singapore. They are the agent for Evergreen. And of course, if you were to buy from them, they do cover you warranty as well. Um, warranty, okay? Warranty against manufacturing defect. Not warranty against wear and tear or lack, you know, uh, lack of, uh, I would say that taking care. If you were to neglect your reel, you put at both sides, you splash water, the reel cannot crank. You cannot say that that's a warranty coverage because that's your problem you don't take care of your own reel and then you know let to rust or jam of bearings that is not under consider warranty claim or anything yeah but if you were to say that your reel brand new came with a deformed shape or deformed handle okay probably you can just send to them and claim all right so but of course such a high-end reel definitely you need a proper after sales service not like you know a dodgy one yeah, you guys know what I mean, uh, okay? Anyway, thank you. Next one will be the Mandarin version.